Let's see how it looks. Or how it goes. Have you completed other runs after A4? Yes. I have completed five games after RE4. This is gonna be the six. We're two hits away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did that. And we also did Tormented Souls. I didn't have anything. Thank you, dude. Yeah. But I'm, 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 I'm moving forward. Hopefully, we get this run today. This one. Looking, looking forward to getting this run too. <clears throat> I don't know if I should do a full run just to get a, get a feel for it first, and then do I'm gonna go for resets. It would be wise that I go for a full run and then and then afterwards do resets. <clears throat> it's a short run, so I shouldn't feel bad about losing it. I don't feel completely immune to hits yet. Mentally wise. Even mechanically. committed there's no way for me to get out of there once I'm in the air I can't do anything else so should have committed one two three four five one two three four five one that's gonna be scary Should be my point of reset or full run. Did I make it um after the second boss? Maybe. Which will be the split? I can do that. I mean, I've always been doing that because I kind of feel weird for like continuing a run after after the first split.
If we, if we get the run, the, the, the sooner I get the run, the, the sooner I get to start with Little Nightmares too. Which is gonna be the next run. I didn't stretch my fingers and my hand. <clears throat> I'll do it after this run. He was so slow. Why did he appear to be so slow? This room is scary, so... Thank God that I have a freaking ass whip of gods. This whip is... This whip goes so far, it's crazy. Where's the other key for that? I trust in my reaction time. If I don't know, I'll get hit. Get my ass out of here. Ooh, that's gonna screw me the next on the next uh, chapter if I don't do that right. Gotta trust in my reaction time. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Up forward. Axe. Grab this. Go. One, two, three, walk forward. Axe to face. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, dude! The longer, the longer it it, it, it ha it's like you're waiting, the the more I, the 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 more my urge to just like freaking jump over that. So I can barely react to it. Yeah, that uh that 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 desperation attack from them is super scary. From that boss in particular. Alright, let's not fail this jump. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too. 
Every single boss has a desperation attack. Almost every single boss. Let me see. Yeah, every single boss has a desperation attack. 100%. Same as Curse of the Moon 2. Uh, which is a sequel to this, obviously. Um, but in the first three bosses, this this game, the way they get this game works is like every single stage, you have, you have a max of four characters. Every single stage this game, uh, or at least for the first four. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on. This might be GG. Oof. For the first, uh, four stages, uh, it introduces a character per stage. And on Curse of the Moon 2, when there is a desperation attack, it actually is stopped by the character that you'll get next, which is kind of cool. On, Curse of, on, on this Curse of the Moon, is basically you have to dodge the desperation attack. Um. I spawn risk. I don't know who the hell you are. Yeah, one final attack before he dies. Yep, yep. Um... Oh, so I keep getting a call by somebody that I, I don't even know who it is. Completely new, I don't know who it is. Um, where are we at? All right. Nice. Good. That's always scary. So yeah, in, in Curse of the Moons, on, on, on this franchise, you, you basically play as, uh, you use four characters you can switch from. Yeah, I do like that idea a lot. They each come with their own abilities. Some of them actually has more than, more than one ability. Some of them have like four abilities you can choose from, and then um, one of them has only one ability, and then there's the one that has three. It's kind of hard to talk and perform at the same time, it's kind of crazy. Wait for this. I can go for two more, I think. What? That killed him?
Wow. Okay. Yeah, so now we get the, the final character. Which is actually Jibo! Probably my favorite character. Jibo is a vampire. He has only one ability. You can turn. You can. He can transform into bad form, which is pretty OP ability. I, I'm guessing that's why they only give him one. It doesn't. It's not a damage wise thing, but it goes over things that uh, normally you couldn't. I have to kill one of these dudes here. Oh no, very bitchy. Hmm. Alright. I didn't make that, I was prepared to change cactus. What's in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, do we do old man now? No, we still gotta do this. Anything else? No, we stay with Jibo. Your concept ballsy play by Blasty. I'm actually going to kill you the way that you should die, the normal way. Ugh, there you go. Not gonna take any chances against that guy. No, no, no. No, no, no. That guy's horrible. Okay. Got our level up here, I'm guessing. Yes, indeed, sir. Break that shit.
made it. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if it's actually bots, dude, because if one of them has Prime. There's something that I'm that I'm missing from that. Yeah, it's weird that if they're bots, why do they have a Prime uh, logo? Like, as if it was actually somebody who purchased a subscription? Something that I do not, I'm not. Something that I'm missing here. Maybe they gain money by doing this? What I was thinking was, like, one of them actually, like, like the trade-off is, like, you probably pay, but you also have to, like, promote the, the, the business, right? So then the company takes ownership of your account. Or not ownership, just, like, the way, like, you, you, you allow, uh, like, stream lessons and stream elements to just have control to your, of your account so they can actually do notifications. This is the only way to be able to put notifications up. I was thinking they did the same thing. So they can just use your account and start spamming it on different uh, channels. And then they get banned. But is it worth it though? If that's the case. I'm pretty sure it's not. Let's press the wrong button again. Uh, mistakes were made. Now they all have zero follows, I just checked. Hmm, that's weird then. I wanna know why is that a thing. Like, there's, there has to be something. Definitely has to be something there. It's like... If you're going to put, if you're going to use, uh, create random accounts so you can spam it, why would you give one of those random, random accounts, um, Prime? You know? Especially when it's already obvious that it's a bot. Like, it's been, it's, it's a thing that's been happening for quite some time already. But people are not dumb anymore. Your ass out of here, son. <sighs> Nailed it. This guy. Mm -hmm. 
upgrade that son. Oh. For credibility? That could be it. Yeah, that, that's, so that, that was my thought process. But then I'm thinking... How did I actually got the, uh... I'm not, I'm not a, in, a, in trouble, but that means I won't be able to go for my strat. Hmm. What the hell happened? Um... There isn't any, right? Oh, I forgot about that guy. I mean, I, I didn't even knew that guy existed. So, no ice uh, thingy strat here, that's for sure. I'm okay with that. I just need... Damn, I, I, need, I need ice axe as soon as possible. This is not looking good. I don't know where, when that, where, where that change happened. But I definitely need ice axe. And that's possible. I need to play an ice, ice axe. I mean axe, because I don't have I don't have axe. Uh, where are we going? Uh I'm Draphalus. No, that's it. Bloodless. Bloodless. So bloodless. I don't need axe. I don't need axe, but I gotta set up for axe. I need axe. I I can get axe here. Yeah, I can definitely get axe here. Yes, there it is. Perfect. Quick, quick. Okay, we're back on track. I don't know how that I messed that up, but I really needed axe. It's funny how I'm controlling how this guy, how far this guy goes to the left or to the right. That's always funny to me. I like the fact that I have control. It's pretty cool. All right, we got Axe back. We're back on track, chat. My pinky hurts though. Kind of get stuck. Mm. 
Let's see if this has uh, mana. Nope. I'm like five mana behind. Which is not a big deal. But it would be nice if I had it. I just used an extra mana, which I didn't have to. I don't have to use that extra mono. <clears throat> I think this one on the bottom, I never get it. So we'll get like two more here. Oh, no. I think we're actually back in track. Back on track. Yeah, I think we're back on track. That's a very scary jump. Yep, we're back on track. Crisis averted. That rat disappeared, which is great. Oof, that was close. Should jump a little bit sooner. Oh, that's wasted mana. I hope I can still make it. I really do want I'm such a greedy bastard. <laughs> I wanted that. Uh I could have walked away without it, but yeah sure you gotta pick it up and last thing. I made a mistake, but hey, we take those. I still managed. Oh, I was I, I did a pretty bad dash. I was I actually did a basic attack. I was supposed to transform. Yeah, welcome back, Miley. So this is this one's BB. I mean, yeah, this this is BB. Oh, it's a platform music here where I can die, so I'm gonna try my best not to die.
Oh, how do I do this part? Nani? Got it. I don't have mana anymore, chat. I actually wasted a bit more mana than I should have. I have no more mana anymore. Ah, uh, what am I gonna do now? Just playing ball with me, dude. You know what? Screw it. I'll do it. I hope it doesn't come and bite me in the end. Does it look like it might bite in the end? I'm going for that extra over there. Actually. We're, we're, we're in a better spot. Not the best, but in a better spot. <laughs> 17. Okay. Does it reload after a time? My mana? My mana? No. I have to get more. Ooh. We got some, though. Not looking that bad. I can actually do this part slow and not waste that much mana. Oh, I won that mana! I'm actually gonna know if this is mana, too. Nope. This is pure mana, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that platform. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me re refresh the room. Cause I did it wrong. Spot, I think. How often can you reload for self defense? Teacups?
That's scary. No, that's very scary. I don't know if, if the hammer can clip through me. Oh wait, is it is it really rude? platforming let's see how we do this Does bright attack look so scary? Yeah. Indeed, it looks very scary. Say for what's up, dude? Love, <clears throat> bless you, thank you, man. Let's see how this goes because I actually the late that there. I'm not gonna pick these ones because I'm actually a little bit late now. Mm -hmm. Oh, these ones don't leave anything. All right, here we go. Platforming! The last! Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, too slow! Faster! We made it! Go out of here. still make it. I kind of messed up a little bit, but we'll still make it. There you go.
<clears throat> yeah, this is going. Uh, I need my freeze here. Do we have a lot of mana? I'm gonna get some from this guy. As long as I don't mess up. As long as we don't mechanically mess up, we'll be fine, chat. Alright, I feel like there's only one thing that can hit me, and I'm gonna focus and not try to get baited by that. Try to get my emotions out of this. Let's not think. We'll focus. I think one more. Let's go, baby! There you go, chat. We did it. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. No hit run. Activated! And means we did it. Also, that's the number 30 run we did all the way to 30! Before Christmas! 30 runs! 30 hit runs before Christmas! Insane! I'd like to take this opportunity to actually thank a few people! I got a big list! No, just kidding, I don't have a list. <laughs> I'll try to remember. Whoever I don't remember, please understand that I have you in my bottom of my heart. Alright? First and foremost, person that I have to thank the most out of everybody, everybody can agree with me, 100%, if not they're banned, is Miley. Thank you, Miley, 
for being here for me this whole year and helping me out when I need you the most. So that's 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 hundred percent gotta be there. Yeah, Miley is the queen of this chat. Alright, now now to, to to thank the other scrubs. <laughs> so shit, I gotta check my videos just to make sure if I can remember. <laughs> First of all, shoutouts to every single person uh, in the beginning who actually um, asked me for like for for like runs or there were, I was doing runs in the beginning, like um, like uh, viewer requested runs. So you know people like Gangsta, um, who else requested runs? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. There was a few that requested runs. I can see where the where the hell is my my, my runs? Show all! Can't find my runs chat. I'm pissed. But yeah, thank you to, uh, thanks to all, all, the, all the viewers who uh, who requested runs. And uh, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Found it! Found it, found it, found it. So, um. Before the credits end. <laughs> Try to do it. Uh, so yeah, people like Gangsta, um, Ultra, and even my friend Dario, actually, uh, Beatrice, uh, requested for Hotline Miami. Captain Zero by Pico, by, uh, Pico, he requested that too. Um, so yeah, as well as, uh, Bright Mirrors for, for re requesting Awas. And besides that, uh, People who were very instrumental to a lot of my no-hit runs that I got, because I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, their guides are really good. Um, they were doing runs alongside me, and that kind of helped me, you know, uh, kind of like uh, route faster. So thank you, Solra, for uh, doing, uh, for starting Death's Door and helping me out with that, as well as for Titan Souls. Those who, those Latinos here, Prage, please. Um, for Titan Souls tutorial, great tutorial. Honestly, I also want to thank uh, Pizza for for carrying me during Dishonored One, Two, and Deathloop at the same time. My guy, my guy made Deathloop tutorial for the sake of me, so that that means a lot to me. It goes a long way. I also want to thank um, QSB for suggesting me Deltarune. It was like, yo, go do Deltarune. I think. Uh, it should be it should be a quick one for you and it took me around i think it was like uh two weeks or something like that so thank you Q, uh, qsb for suggesting that i hope i said your name right um as well as carsey for his uh for his commentaries on wrestling evil uh seven because i did watch his commentary on wrestling evil seven um as well as Resident Evil Remake, but the most instrumental for Resident Evil Remake was actually Ares, Ares Audio. He did help me a lot. We uh, we traded conversations back and forth um, on Resident Evil Remake. There were things that were, I was trying to get, and uh, if it was for him, it would have been it would have been harder. Uh, so thank you so much, Ares. I do appreciate all you've done for, uh, for me. Um, there's a couple of runs here that I don't have. But uh, I do want to thank Spiral Out for 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 the tutorial. It's funny because uh, um, I was not thinking about doing Resident Evil Four this year, but I made the I'm, I'm, I told him, hey, if you do me a tutorial, because I knew he like didn't want to do a tutorial yet. He wasn't really going in for it. So I went for it thinking that maybe he might say no. But if he says yes, then, then whatever, I'll try it. And I say, hey, if you do me a tutorial on Wrestling Evil 4, I'll think, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll go for it. And he's like, really? And then he did the tutorial, I think, like, two, one to two days after or something like that. Yeah, Iron 4 was amazing. Uh, and probably the longest run it took, the, the longest run of, of this year, I would say. So thank you so much, Sparrow, as well as Kunifek. Uh, you know, hanging out with me on, on all of my attempts and, you know, trading ideas, you know, back and forth and trying to give me stuff. Um... People who were also instrumental for like routing 
or perfecting in terms of consistency on RE4 was um uh shoot hold on give me a second I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure I don't I don't, I don't, I don't butcher the name Rui right it's not Ryu Rui Rui uh I had I had like countless nights or not countless nights but there were like a couple nights where I would just go into voice comps and he'll be just just checking what I was doing, he would go like, yo, what if you do this, or what if you do that, and we, we would trade, we would just test a lot, and uh, and I, uh, honestly, there's, there's like, rooms that I never thought I would get some consistency in it, and we're just trying to think outside the box, and just trying to like, understand how the room completely worked, and then we were like, oh, what if I do this, and then everything just clicked after that, so thank you, Rui, for, for, for those nights, uh, as well as Black being there as well, with me, and Rui, um, but yeah, uh, thank you, Spiral, Black, Rui, Kunifer, thank you so much, man. You you were almost every single day there, uh, just just suggesting me things, you know. He was he was little by little pushing me to do safer straps because he was like, "Bless you, why, why not this? This is this is safer." And I'm like, "Dude, because it's it just is longer. It makes the run longer." He's like, "Dude, but it's safer." So I ended up budging. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Kunifer. For that, uh, like I said, we did death loops. So uh, sh major shoutouts to to the Pizza for for carrying me and all, all those three games, and especially in death loop because he didn't have any reason to do death loop tutorial. No, like I'm pretty, I'm probably like the second hit list that does death loop. Unless speedrunner's already done it, so maybe that. But so, so yeah, thank you so much. Um, and also Noni. Thank you so much for your help with Tormented. I actually got that run. I think it was because of Noni. Or I'm pretty sure it was because of Noni. Because we were I did a playthrough the first day, and then the second day I already started like writing and everything. Uh the the, the beginning of that day. And then the second part of that day. Uh yeah, Noni QTV. Full name. Um and he was there with me the whole run. He was like, do this, do that, be careful, this guy can do this. And I was like very cautious about it. There was actually a point in the run where he was like not talking. I was like, oh, no, please don't leave me alone, dude. Like I was really close to him at the end of the game, right? And uh, I prepared myself before the run with the last boss because I wanted to make sure that I understood the last boss. But definitely not he carry me all the way there. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Noni. As well as this last run here. Big shout outs to uh, Uprisen TV. He is the guy who did the you no know, damage run, and I've been following his route. Honestly, I, I couldn't have gone this run that soon if it wasn't for his routing. Um, he used to be a speedrunner of this game, and then he transitioned to to just doing the the, the, the run no damage. And uh, I remember when I was watching him attempting this run, he put a fair amount of time into this. There were sections that he didn't understood like how to do correctly, so it took him a while for him to just. You know, come up with like really consistent strats. So, Obrison, thank you so much, man. Um, if it wasn't for your strats and how you performed it, um, I would have it would have taken me way more. I would have had to route to make it more consistent. So, yeah. And then yesterday, he actually wanted to console me. He was like, "Yeah, do this because of this. Like, this is precise because of this. Is this could happen?" You know, it's like he was exp uh, explaining me like the thought process about all of it. So, it was really, really nice chatting with him and him walking me through everything. So, thank you so much. Um, I think that's almost about it. There's two runners, two, two speed runners that I don't remember as much. Those who you are, you know. Um, when I was doing Celeste, they were there and chatting with me. They were suggesting me strats or, or suggesting me to do this and that. I almost started doing demo dashing. I learned demo dashing, but not consistently. It was like, dude, if you learn this and you can, you, you skip a room. I was like, dude, this is not consistent. I'm not going to do demo dash, but, but I did manage to do it. Um, I couldn't do it on the controller that I was using, but I could have, I could have done demo dash on, on keyboard. I think I did it like twice. No, I did it once with him. And then when he left, I did it twice in a row, which was pretty cool. But demo dash is a really risky move that I would never pull off in Celeste. But, uh, I think shout to both of them. Honestly, really, really t good, talented uh, runners. And Celeste, uh, appreciate the time they, they spent with me on that. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, I want to thank Jeff for being there with me on Resident Evil 7. He's, he's been doing the run with me, and um, we also traded conversations over strats. Thank you, Jeff. 
I may have forgotten you for a couple minutes, but you're still be, you'll still be in my heart forever. Also, thank you, chat. <laughs> there you go. So, thank you, chat, for being there. I appreciate you. And I think that's about it. Those are these are my thirty runs before Christmas. I still have more runs to go for. I want to push it as far as I can. So we still have like what? Eight days. We have eight more days. So I want to see how far I can push it because this is gonna be like my record, and I probably will never go back and try to beat this record because uh, it's just too much sacrifice, to be honest. The, like the times I have to put in to just get these thirty runs. And the times I'm gonna put to just get the rest of the runs that are like waiting for me before the before this year ends is gonna be insane, and um, I don't want to do this again. Uh, it was fun. It is still fun. I do enjoy it. I'm super addicted to this, to be honest. Like I, it's it's hard for me to like stop doing it, but it's not you know it's not a healthy long term thing. But yeah, I, that's all that I wanted to say. Um. And uh, last note, this, this is a little bit, this, this takes a little bit of courage for me to say this, but um, I know he's a speedrun historian, but maybe, maybe you can come into the no hit run historian world and maybe like, you know, I feel like a, good, a, a video about like everything that transpired this year would have been cool. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to call him out, but he knows who he is. If he ever gets, if he ever gets this message then uh this might be this could be an interesting video to make i don't know anyways this is done i'm leaving chat now i'm not leaving i'm leaving the game we're going for little nightmares 2 now